Hi, and welcome to the Bell Performance video blog. Today we're going to be talking about octane rating in gasoline. Uh, we're going to be talking about what exactly uh, does the octane rating mean? What does it, uh, what does it tell you? And uh, with respect to low octane gas versus high octane gas, uh, does it make any difference if you use a or if you pay extra for a high octane gas that uh, has, has a higher octane rating than what your engine uh, is designed for? Uh, in a nutshell, the octane rating uh, of gasoline tells you basically how much compression uh, that gasoline can take in the engine before it self-combusts. Now, if you know anything about gasoline engines versus diesel engines, uh, you know that gasoline engines are spark ignition and they're designed to work by having a spark plug ignite uh, the fuel air mixture or the gasoline air mixture inside the combustion chamber you know at precisely the right time relative to when the piston is moving up or down inside of that combustion chamber cylinder a diesel engine works without a spark plug and so it relies on compressing uh, a mixture of diesel and air when you compress a gas, then according to the ideal gas law, the uh, temperature increases if everything else stays the same, and eventually the temperature will exceed the you know the auto ignition temperature for that fuel, and it will combust on its own without the use of a spark, and that's how diesel engines work. Now, um, a gasoline engine is designed so that it will work best with a specific octane fuel. The question is, if you exceed that octane rating, will you get any extra benefit out of it? And also, the flip side is, if you don't meet that requirement, if you use an octane that's too low in the, in the gasoline, a gasoline with too low of an octane rating, is that bad for your engine too? Well, you know, these engines, uh, the, the, the octane rating that it's designed to work on, it relates to, in part, to the compression ratio of the engine. Uh, or of the cylinder. The cylinder the compression ratio is the ratio of space uh, between when the cylinder is at the bottom, when there's the maximum amount of space in there, and when the cylinder is all the way up top, when there's the least amount. And uh, that will be a set property of the engine, and that will help determine uh, what octane rating you need in the gasoline that will work best in that engine. So, what happens if you use uh, fuel that's too low in octane. Well, what you'll get is, uh, as the engine's working, the uh, cylinder is moving up and the fuel gets sprayed into the cylinder, mixes with air, um, and then it's supposed to, uh, it's not supposed to combust until the cylinder is at the peak, top dead center position or just immediately before that. Um, if it's functioning properly, it will wait until that spark hits, and then it will all combust and explode at precisely the right time, and you'll get the engine working properly. But if the octane rating is too low in the gasoline, then it will actually prematurely combust, and it will prematurely combust because it will start to be compressed as that cylinder is moving up, or as the excuse me, the piston is moving up, and so you'll start to get at least part of it that gets prematurely. Uh, uh, combusted by the, the, the compression of that gasoline. Uh, then you'll get the hitting of the spark, and if there's any fuel that's left that's undetonated, so to speak, then that fuel will be burned, and what you essentially get is two competing flame fronts, what they call it, or two competing explosions. And explosions have shock waves that happen in the cylinder, and that's when you get this knocking and this pinging that people has, uh, have historically heard. And if it's bad enough, then that can actually do serious damage to your engine. Um, at worst, or excuse me, at best, it's annoying, and at worst, it can cause engine damage. Um, but that's why you need to make sure that you use uh, a gasoline that has an octane rating that is what is recommended for that specific engine that you have. And you will find this by looking in your uh, vehicle owner's manual. Now... That being said, if your owner's manual recommends that you use 89 octane fuel, and you say, okay, well, uh, if low is bad, well, high is good. So you say, I'm going to pay extra and use 91 or 93. Are you going to get any extra benefit from that? And the simple answer is no. You are not going to get any extra benefit from that. You're going to be paying uh, you know, 10 or 20 cents per gallon 
uh, more for something that's really not going to give you any extra mileage. It's not going to give you any more appreciable power because all that's really going to ensure is that the gasoline all combusts at the proper time. So the bottom line is uh, you want to check your owner's manual to make sure that your octane rating of your fuel uh, is what is recommended in there. Uh, and uh, don't pay any extra uh, for a high octane premium fuel that exceeds the rating that's recommended in your manual. Uh, so thank you for joining us today on the Bell Performance video blog and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.